Happy 75 years, Batman. We don't have a live action Batman movie to talk about this year, but we do have a new animated movie from DC. And Mr. Lucas gets excited! Yeah, and this one is very cool because it's based on the Arkham video game universe. It's called Batman Assault on Arkham. Yes. What'd you think? Well, first I was terrified because you thrust this upon me and I just thought to myself, okay, this is going to be another Batman thing that Victor Lucas is going to love <laughs> and I'm going to try to... Love. So when this movie started off, I was a little concerned because they're showing me all these characters that I just, what, who, what, who is that person? <laughs> it's just another person Listen, like, I, why a, don't I know about this person? I, I'm a comic geek yeah. and I don't know all of these different characters. The giant shark guy, I don't yeah. really know that guy. Finally, some action. <laughs> But he's pretty fun in this movie. And basically what this is, it is in the Arkham universe, so the video games that we know and love. But what is kind of different about this is really the tale of the Suicide Six coming together. Yeah. So much for low profile. Amanda Waller is played by CCH Pounder, who is amazing on The Shield. Perfect voice casting oh, for, for this fantastic. whole thing. But she is putting together this group of criminals to go out on these crazy suicidal missions. And we've got Deadshot, we've got Harley Quinn, we've got right. the Black Spider, uh, gi the giant shark guy, which is kind of like Killer Croc, but okay. he's a shark. And, kind of, and also like Jaws from the James Bond movie. Okay, and then Jennifer Hale's character. And Jennifer Hale is uh, Killer Frost. And what right. they're doing is they're jumping into Arkham Asylum and they're off to go on a mission. I don't want to reveal too much about what the specific mission is. Well, you do meet the Riddler off the top. So we you do know. meet the Riddler in there, yes. Yeah, so you know it has something to do with the Riddler. And Batman comes in and foils her plans to destroy him. So well, you, you, could, you can you kind can of predict Batman. some of that stuff. It is amazing how much screen time is not on Batman. Or the Joker, I know, or the Riddler. That you weren't gonna like that but because I, Batman's not really there. No, he's looming. He's around but he's not on camera. Which I thought was a risky deal, but I like this because it's an expansion. It's about building this universe out a little bit, and it also hints that, yes, a Suicide Six video game is is likely in the works in this world. Well, that'd be good. I hope that it's good. Yeah. <laughs> just so invested because the voice acting here is unreal. It's really Harley great. Quinn, I mean, you, you really felt like this was Harley Quinn. Yeah. This is the person that needs to play Harley Quinn all the time. But not even that, like Trey Baker, I know that he's amazing. We've heard him a million times yes. now. But the way he portrays Joker, I'm watching a cartoon, I see Trey Baker. Yeah. It's insane. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But I think the real surprise of this movie is Neil McDonough as Deadshot. He's got this great, deep, heroic, also evil voice and an evil tone to him. And it's an interesting choice because he feels like he would be ripe for animation in a big right. way. And he is center stage in this whole thing. He's such yeah. a badass in this movie. We're a little busy right now. Ah! I'll call you back. It's you know? so true. I, I love that these are all characters that are supposed to be villains. Yeah. But you're really rooting for them because you realize that, you know what, nobody's just one side or another. It's very they're, great. It's, it's very great. And yeah. they're all over the place because they're toying with whatever. They they have their personal agendas, obviously. They, they are very selfish people. Yeah. They're very selfish characters. Well, they don't want their heads to explode. Well, exactly. Is... That's another problem, too. They have to worry about their heads exploding. <laughs> so it's like, who do you trust? Who do you want to deal with? Who do you roll with? Which... They have to band together, even though they don't really want to work together. Which, spoiler alert, this is an incredibly violent animated movie. I, yeah. Like maybe one of the most violent of the DC animated films I've seen. Yeah. We do see blood. We also get some salty language in this thing. I was a little like, wow, this is oh, definitely no. not this a not movie for, for children. children at all. But there you are know? some laugh out loud moments. Oh, yeah, like sure. the humor in this is fantastic. They fall out of a building and Harley Quinn, <laughs> you see her, you look at her, she's on her head. Look, are you okay? I'm okay. I just landed on my head. I know. Like just, it's just, it, these things come out of nowhere, but they make you laugh out loud because they're so surprising. I can't believe how much I actually got invested in this because I was a little concerned, like I said, but I'm happy that you brought it to my attention. Listen, this is a quality film. It's no Batman Under the Red Hood, which I think still stands as one of my favorite of the DC animated movies. He's good. Yes, he's putting on quite a show. I also think that the violence is akin to the Dark Knight Returns, part one, part two. So if you've got younger viewers out there that were cool with that movie, you're gonna see some similarly dark stuff in this one. I think that's a little more insight than we had in mind. We don't want to tell you how to raise your kids, but <laughs> I, I feel like you, hey, you should hold yeah. off on this one. It is, Batman it is lives violent. in the dark world, it's man. It's true. It is, that's so true. And you yeah. think about that and you realize yeah. that as you're watching this movie, like what? I was thinking to myself, why does, why does anybody live in Gotham? Yeah. Why is there anybody awful there? Place. Batman's doing what place. he can. So what are you going to give Batman Assault on Arkham? I'm going to give it an 8. Yeah, this gets an 8 for me as well.
Hey, thanks for checking out that video on our EPN channel. It's just one small part of the things that we make around here. So if you liked it, don't forget to check out some of our other vids and hit that subscribe button.